once they um, recognize uh, select their teacher of the year that person then completes an application which we have reviewed by a panel uh, outside of our district and they select the one um, teacher to represent Tattnall County as Tattnall County's teacher of the year I'm happy to announce that Ms. Teresa Thompson teacher at South Tattnall Middle School will represent Tattnall County as the 2020 teacher of the year they actually serve the following year so she's actually going to be the 2020 teacher of the year um, and she will go on to compete at the state level we're proud of each of our school representatives and we're pleased to recognize them today and to show them our appreciation for what they do for the students of Tattnall County each school's teacher of the year received uh, a $200 allotment that they can use to purchase classroom supplies um, additionally each representative um, receives a $500 stipend which will come next year as they're serving as the teacher of the year and the Tattnall teacher of the year receives an additional $500 for a total of a $1,000 stipend at this time we'll call on the principals from each school to introduce their school representatives and we'll ask Dr. Williams and Chairman Bland to come forward to assist with the presentations we'll go in the order of our agenda and we'll start with Collins Elementary so I were <laughs> You, you, I didn't tell you on the way here, you get to go first. <laughs> we usually go first. They this me last year. It was my first year being a principal. So um, our teacher of the year is our pre-K teacher um, at Collins, Miss Angie Kite. Um, I, I had been told before I came there that as far as pre-K teachers go, she is top notch. And she is. Um, I love, love, love. If you ever want to go visit, um, a great classroom it is amazing what she can get four-year-olds to do I mean it is absolutely amazing um, from what they are probably our most well-behaved classroom <laughs> in the whole school but it's also fun she has um, a great great time with the kids I call her the pre-k superhero that's kind of how I <laughs> described it when I sent it to the Sentinel so um, we are so blessed and our pre-k children who get to have Angie um, are very very blessed to have her so our Collins Elementary Teacher of the Year is Miss Angie Kite Congratulations. You want you want to do them now? Well, I'm going to do them all together, but I thought they might want to do one too. Okay. 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 Just tilt the it forward a little bit and take the glare off of it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. We actually had her pre-K class come and present to the board at a board meeting, and um, was awesome. That's really good. Good. Alrighty. Um, Reesville Elementary School's Teacher of the Year is Ms. Haley Davis, and uh, Ms. Davis is in her 12th year at Reesville Elementary School. Um, it's 15th overall, is that right? Uh, spent three years previously at Maddie Lively in Bullock County. Teaches first grade for us and does a wonderful job. Uh, there's a lot of things we can say about Ms. Davis. One of them is that she's a, a consummate professional. Uh, she gets all of her um, teaching duties and stuff taken care of with fidelity but um, she's a leader in our building and that's an important thing to realize when I say leader not necessarily leader of committees or grade levels or things of that nature PLC's but she's a, a leader by example she does it the right way and, and she shows other people how it's done um, it must be paying off because um, she has two children uh, Ella Kate and Brantley and a uh, little side story here Ella Kate, <laughs> Ella Kate came to my office and uh, with a group of kids who were getting recognized for PBIS and um, it was something because I, you know, there were several kids, maybe like eight, seven or eight children coming up at one time. And that leadership must be, something must be happening there at the house because she had them in a line outside <laughs> of my door saying one at a time, now you may go and see Mr. Tucker. <laughs> and now you may go see Mr. Tucker. I'm like, well, I was going to see if Dr. Williams would let me hire a five-year-old uh, extra AP to come along. That, that, she was just spectacular, but nonetheless, um, uh, we, we were very appreciative to have her, and uh, she does a wonderful job, so Ms. Davis, come on up and be recognized. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> 
Kijk, ik kan Um, I get to uh, introduce our Teacher of the Year for North Tattnall Middle School. Um, her name is Sheila Kennedy. Uh, when I called Sheila, when I was writing the article for the paper, <laughs> and you know, you have to ask some specifics, even though I know a husband's name or children's name, you gotta get all your years together to make sure you got it right. And as I'm talking to her, I said, well, I'm gonna read you what I'm putting in the paper. And as I'm reading it, she says, you sure you're talking about me? <laughs> I said, yeah. I'm positive that I'm talking about you. So I said, so does that mean I get a gift on Monday? <laughs> uh, but uh, Sheila Kennedy has been uh, in our county for 19 years now. And out of that 19 years of her teaching, it's all been in Tattnall County. Uh, Sheila was teaching at the elementary school and then she came over to the middle school. So she's been with me for about five years now. Uh, before that, she's been a pre-K pre coordinator. And for some of you, if you look at Sheila, you won't know it, but I call her my gun tote and probation officer because she used to be a probation officer too. So uh, she's, so if that tells you anything about her demeanor or who she is, cause I can say this about Sheila. Out of all your teachers in a building when as an administrator, what you're looking forward to is not to have a lot of discipline issues. You're looking for students to go in, know what's expected of them, know how they're supposed to behave. And I think when you keep students busy, they know what's expected and they know what is allowed and what's not allowed, then you don't usually do not have a lot of discipline issues. And that's what Sheila represents to me. Uh, I make fun of her all the time, me and her both. We have this constant laugh about being older. And there's something sometimes to be said about older teachers when you're doing this thing. <laughs> uh, but uh, we make fun of it because a kid asked her one day and she made sure she got me back because my son was doing maintenance. And he looked at Miss Kennedy and said, is that Miss Johnson's grandson? <laughs> So we, we have this back and forth, but Sheila is an excellent math teacher. And if any of your children have come through the system and have been in Sheila's room, you will understand that she is dedicated to teaching math and she has a lot of different strategies in which that she uses. And that makes Sheila our teacher of the year. I'm gonna give you a couple of words in which that our staff actually said about her. Uh, and I asked the teachers to give words that describe the teacher that they're nominating. And they said dedicated, hardworking, knowledgeable, and helpful. And that's Sheila Kennedy, North Tattler Middle School Teacher of the Year. Congratulations. <laughs> I have the pleasure of introducing Ms. Brooke Anderson as the Glenville Elementary School Teacher of the Year. Um, we are very fortunate to have her represent our school. Um, Brooke has been teaching for 12 years and uh, about four years ago she contacted me saying she really wanted to get over to Tattnall County because she'd been in Long County um, for many of those years. and. I was smart enough to hire her right on the spot, thank goodness I did, um, because she is an absolutely amazing teacher. When we hear about teachers building positive relationships with students and families, she's that girl. She could do a um, professional development school-wide, nationwide on how to develop a, a relationship with with students and with parents. Parents every year come back and say, hey, will you move her to fourth grade? Please move her to fourth grade. Will you move her to fifth grade? No, she's staying right where she's at. I had a parent last year say, will you please let her go to the middle school? I said, back it up, sister. She's staying with us. You've tried every year to get me to move her. And I said no every single year. Um, she is a extremely hardworking. That work ethic is there. She's texting me at 10 o'clock at night, showing me ideas. And oddly enough, we, we think a lot alike. Some might say that's good. Some I might say that's bad, but um, she's just an amazing, amazing teacher, and the parents love her, the students love her, and she's in a tremendous leader in our building as well, so our staff did an outstanding job picking a tremendous teacher to represent our school, so I'd like to introduce Brooke Anderson. <laughs> she's technology savvy, too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Take care of all of us. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. 
I have the privilege today of introducing Miss Teresa Thompson, which is not only the South Tattnall Middle School Teacher of the Year, she is going to represent us all well as the Tattnall County Teacher of the Year. So it wasn't any surprise to me. She, um, she overwhelmingly won our uh, position as the Teacher of the Year at South Tattnall this year. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. She is the mother of two children, Zach and Brooke. Zach's a 10th grader at the high school, and Brooke is a senior already at Georgia Southern University. She's married to Jamie. She's been teaching for 27 years, um, nine years at Liberty County, and then she came over here to join us at um, South Tattano Middle School for the last 17 years. Done a little bit of everything, taught ELA for a long time, and, and now she's a little bit of a jack of all trades, does everything for us. Um, she, she's the glue that makes us stick and, and what makes us so successful at South Tattano Middle, but she does um, our computer apps classes, one of our STEM classes, and she's our RTI coordinator as well as our ESOL coordinator. So she, she does a little bit of everything, um, teaching all those classes and coordinating those programs as well. Uh, one other thing that I really want to brag on her about is, is our junior beta program is a really big program. And we have 68 students that are going to be attending the state conference this year, um, which starts on Wednesday. And she is the state conference sponsor as well. So she oversees the entire conference in Savannah, which is going to have a little over 6,000 students there this week. So that's a big, big deal going on. And so she's trying to juggle all these coordinator positions and teaching positions and being a mom and then, and then overseeing these 6,000 students that are going to be making their way down there on Wednesday. So we want to wish them good luck and, and um, thank you for all that you do for us and the students across the state. So she represents, you know, all the great things of teachers in the state. So at this time, I'd like to present Ms. Teresa Thompson. <laughs> and typically she'll be on TV, so with the <laughs> convention. <laughs> So we'll be watching for you. Yeah, well, my husband said he, you know, didn't know if I was on TV this year in the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> I want to recognize our Tattle County High School Teacher of the Year at this time, Ms. Tracy Waters. She stepped in two years ago. This is her second year. Whenever our entire business department left Tattle County High School <laughs> for retirement, <laughs> and we couldn't have made a better choice. She stepped right in, she took over a leadership role and has been a pillar at the end of the 700 hall. I don't know what we would have done without her. In addition to her teaching duties, she's always willing to do whatever we need her to do. We were low on numbers and she's like, hey, look, my accounting class, I can take five more kids, send them to me. You know, she's willing to jump in. And the, um, in addition to her classroom duties with the FBLA, she's constantly doing fundraisers. She just took a group to Athens for um, three days, two days, two and a half, something like that. She takes them all over the place. She's willing to work extra hours. If I send out an email that says, hey, we need somebody to work the Mary Poppins gate, I can count on Miss Tracy Waters to be there. If I need somebody to run an errand to pick up something for the school, I, my plan is at this time, can, do I have time to get it done? She's willing to jump in. However, whenever, the kids love her. We've had kids saying, can I get in that accounting class? <laughs> when before it was the evil plague. There was a green fog around the accounting class. Um, the kids love her. The staff loves her. She's fit right in. She's married to Marky. They have four kids. Two I learned about today, so I don't know. <laughs> Mark is 30, Chance 29, Dylan 24, and Emma is a senior this year. We've also enjoyed having Emma. She brought Emma with her when she came. Um, so I want to recognize Miss Tracy. Mm -hmm. 